surprisingly lucky, and it may be that color prejudice is diminishing a bit, but one cannot pretend that it isn't still an extremely strong force. Many widely traveled and intelligent people in this country would be against mixed marriages, such as you, sir, I imagine, Mr. Wentworth Day, and uh, you were, in fact, an advisor to the Egyptian government and the Sudan, so you know what you're talking about. Well, I, <coughs> I've been there and seen them in their own home surroundings. And as a parliamentary candidate, I've been into a good many working-class houses. Where they have? Where there have been, oh yes, indeed. Uh, where there have been many mixed marriages, and I've seen the children. And my view is this, that no first-class nation can afford to produce a race of mongrels. And that is what we're doing. Sooner or later, that's going to come back on the children. Those children are unfair hostages to the future. It's unfair on the children. It's unfair on the nation. It's one of the reasons why France is a third-class nation today. Too much mixed blood. Look at the other angle. The black man, and I refuse this humbug of talking about the colored man, he's black and we're white, has a different set of standards, values, morals and principles. In many cases, their grandfathers were eating each other. Well, the lion doesn't change his spots in all that time. But look at it this way. They come over here, they cause housing troubles, employment troubles. Ask any landlord of working class property. Where they go in, the houses become cesspits of dirt. Now, this is not inevitable. <laughs> uh, very often, if a black man makes a lot of money, what do you find? Again, a lack of taste. He's flashy. He's very often arrogant. Well, to go back to mixed marriages, which is the specific subject I'm talking about, are you implying that a half-caste is in any way mentally deficient? Definitely. But there's well, nothing to prove this at all. That unfortunate child is born with an inferiority complex. If it isn't born with it, it grows up with it. You can't possibly say that it's born with an inferiority complex. That's something that we instill into it later. We may instill it, and also the pure black people may instill it themselves. Because they have an instinctive contempt, you know, for what they call white trash. But if conditions were different, there was not the social prejudice, such as you have, and there were not the practical difficulties, then if two people were in love, wouldn't you recommend them to get married? Love is a very curious thing. It depends on how you define it. I think a lot of these mixed marriages are caused purely by downright sex hmm. or sloppy sentimentality. Have you got a daughter yourself? I have a daughter who is young, charming, intelligent, with taste and discrimination. Well, what would you feel? if she said that she was going to marry a colored man? I should strongly advise her against it. I should give her all the practical reasons why not. I should ask her if she wanted to wake up in the morning and see a coffee-colored little imp on the uh, pillow beside her, calling her mummy. If she did marry him, I should be bitterly disappointed. Well, I couldn't disagree with you more, but at least you do say what you really feel. Thank you very much. Thank you.